Hey friends, welcome back for another video. As promised, today I'm taking you along as I continue with this budget-friendly kitchen makeover. I mentioned this before in previous videos, but I scored this Gianni countertop paint kit from the Habitat for Humanity Restore for only $30. In my last Productive Day in the Life video, which if you missed it, I will link it down below in the description box, I prepped these counters for paint and got the first layer of this black primer down. I didn't film it but I did have to go back and touch up the black primer because it went on a bit splotchy in certain areas especially when using the foam brush that came in the kit. Nobody told me to settle down Day nights and late nights don't get around But there's something about you Something about you I like Okay, this is how the countertops looked after the primer dried and you'll see me start to sponge on these three colors Pearl Mica, Inca Gold, and White Limestone in that order so the kit that I'm using is called White Diamond, but after researching and watching a bunch of reviews and how-to videos, I believe the kit I have is an older version because the Gianni White Diamond kits that are being sold now have two different colors. Instead of the Pearl Mica and Inca Gold, the newer kits come with Greystone and Quartzite. If this is your first time here, hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Candice and our family moved into this fixer-upper farmhouse a few years ago. To save money and stay within a tight budget, we are slowly renovating and doing most of the work ourselves. On this channel, you will find a lot of homemaking content to include fixer-upper projects. So if that interests you, go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. Okay guys, here is what it's looking like so far. I did, I, I don't know if you can tell, maybe you can. I did a little bit of a different technique on each section here because I wanted my family to see what they like better. This side has more of the black showing. And then right here, I put more brown at the top, the bronze color. Um, and then here, this section here is actually more of the white. Through the camera, maybe if I back up. Oh yeah, you can kind of tell. Oh, here you can kind of see it better. So here's more of the black showing, brown showing, and then more of the white showing. And then here I continued with more black showing because the family likes this side the best, which has more of the black showing. So even though it's diamond white, I think I'm gonna come back around and like sections, 
sections like here where there's more of the white showing i think i'm gonna dab more of the primer the black primer on um because everybody says they like like this they like more of the black showing and i do too because it kind of it really ties in the hardware on the cabinets so i'm going to continue that put more um blotches of black here and there and we'll see how it goes after taking a step back to look at it i didn't like the inca gold layer because it gave the rest of the paint a kind of dirty look kind of like little coffee stains but I trusted the process and continued sponging on all three colors. Also, as you can see, I didn't bother taping off the wall because I do plan on putting up some kind of backsplash over it later. Okay, at this point, I had gotten all three colors down, so I went back and sponged on the black primer, and then I decided to also go back in with the pearl mica and white limestone, which helped to cover up the Inca gold layer a little more. And this is where I really started liking the look of the counters. To be honest, up until this point, I was kind of regretting starting this project because I was so focused on the fact that my counters didn't match the picture on the box. But once I could visualize what I wanted them to look like, which wasn't like the image on the box, I felt more confident about them. Another difference is that this older kit comes with a high gloss top coat and the newer kits comes with a glitter top coat which after seeing other videos I really like the look of the glitter top coat. So I found this can of glitter blast in the color diamond dust in the basement. I tested it on this paint stick and liked it so I sprayed whatever was left in the can on the counters before sealing them with the top coat. I'm so glad that I had that glitter spray on hand because it just made the counters pop. It's hard to see on camera, but in person, they are beautiful. I'll get up close at the very end so you can see how the glitter shimmers. And after using up what was left in the spray can, I sealed the counters with the top coat that came in the kit. It had a milky blue tint to it while it was wet, but it dried perfectly clear. And here's a quick reminder of how the counters looked like before and what they look like now. I am so, so happy with how the counters turned out. Definitely let me know in the comments what you think about this countertop makeover. If you enjoyed watching today's video, I'd really appreciate it if you hit the like button on your way out. Subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on the rest of this kitchen makeover. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!